There it is, Linus Lundqvist, double Detroit race winner and Belle Isle dominator. Backing up your win yesterday with yet another victory in race two to complete a weekend clean sweep. What a weekend. Yeah, like you said, what a weekend. Absolutely perfect. Super, super happy with this. Um, obviously, massive thank you to the team. Um, they gave me, gave me such a great car from, from day one since we rolled out. So it was just about puzzling together, making sure I'm comfortable around this place, which is not easy because the bumps are very aggressive. But yeah, we managed to get the double pole and then to back it up with the double win yesterday and today. Um, I'm over the moon about this result. How do you rate this performance in uh, in a career perspective? It's one of the more dominant showings we have seen. Yeah, I think it's it's definitely up there by by some of the strongest uh, drivings that that I've had in my career. I believe. Obviously, I love this place. This was my favorite track out of all the ones that we've been to last year. So I was happy coming back here. But you never know because it seems like you can be on pace. But even when everything feels good, you can still lack a little bit of pace. So. You know, I was just happy to see out of practice one that the pace was there, thereabouts, and then we just pulled it all together in quali. And I knew from quali that, you know, the pace advantage that we had was quite significant. So it was just about, you know, making sure that we had good outlaps, good first two, three, four laps and build a bit of a gap and then just go into management mode. But management mode around this place is not like any other place because it still means that you're push pushing flat out and one mistake and you can end up in the wall. You made it look very easy. Like you mentioned, I'm sure it wasn't that easy. But just how much have you been working with the car through the, uh, the different uh, scenarios weather-wise? We've had a lot of ups and downs in temperature, temperature range this weekend. Just how much are you working actively with the car on a weekend like this? I mean, the, the track is constantly evolving, you know, from session to session, from day to day. I think we went like three or four seconds faster now in the race than we did in practice one, for example. So it just shows how much the track is getting faster. So we changed a little bit, but honestly not much because we, we knew that we had a good car here from last year. So we rolled up with a good setup and knowing that the track is going to come to us as well. And that's exactly what it did. So, um, yeah, I just tried to uh, obviously adapt to the new conditions, see where the line is, where the rubber is laid down and, yeah, try to maximize it. Next race uh, coming up already next weekend at Road America. Um, looking forward to that? Absolutely. I feel like we're, we're in a sweet spot both with myself and the team. Um, obviously, Road America is a very different track and compared to this one, but I feel like we can be faster as well. We had a good package at all the road courses so far that we've been to, so we just got to hit the sweet spot on that one as well. So, um, yeah, all focus on that.